So I'm looking at this video right now. And I'm seeing a woman get out of her car, walking to this other woman's car like a zombie, walks right in front of it in the middle of traffic, snatches off her windshield wiper, and just starts banging on the window. And she throws the windshield wiper and walks away very aggressively. So it's very clear that this is an incident of road rage. We don't know what happened before the video footage we saw, but I can tell you that approaching somebody's vehicle only further escalates the conflict and it could be dangerous. You don't know what that person has on them that you're approaching. Damaging somebody's car in the middle of traffic at night when that person has two children inside of their vehicle, they would have every right to defend themselves after experiencing that. The best thing would have been for the woman being approached to leave as she saw the other woman coming towards her. Maybe she was in shock. Maybe she didn't know the situation was going to escalate like it did, but I wish she would have taken off. We are living in end times, so it's very important for everybody to be extra cautious when they go out. We need to prepare, watch, and pray. And I would love to see where we come to a place, and, and this includes me, right? This is not me preaching at anybody and pretending like I'm so perfect because yes, I've been in my world. I've been going through a lot of things and I've been in my head trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to get through this? But in the middle of that kind of snapping back and trying to figure out, okay, what is my purpose here on earth? Even though I'm going through a difficult time, can I still be kind to other people? You know, this is one of the reasons why people don't like to go in the inner cities. And I'm not saying that it's only Black people who act like that, but you do, unfortunately, there are a lot of Black people who are behaving that way because they may be thinking, oh, the media is planning all of this stuff in their heads, making them think that the white man is out to get them in some way. And now they have all of this aggression that's being negatively channeled to the wrong people. And this is why I always talk about getting to the root of the problems, because if we can all figure out who's actually behind all of the evil and corruption, then you're not channeling your anger to the wrong people. But anyway, that is a completely different video. I'd love to see us get back to a place in our world where people, where kindness becomes the norm. Respect becomes the norm because what she did is not okay. And she needs to pay for every bit of damage she did to that woman's car. And she needs to face some serious repercussions so that she can learn. Some people may say, oh, why are you judging her? You don't know what she was going through too. Yeah, of course, I know she could be, she could have been going through a very difficult time, but it doesn't mean that people should not have to learn from the things they do. Because if they don't, if nothing happens to this girl, you're going to have other people who look at this situation and then they're going to think that they can get away with the exact same thing. And this is not okay. We need to restore, like I said, law and order into our society and where things are fair again and people are being more kind to each other and more respectful to each other. And when they don't, then there are consequences to be had. And like I do pretty much every day, I want us all to kind of come into agreement and start praying for a spirit of kindness, a spirit of joy, love, and peace over this world. Because I don't know what the evil powers are doing. My sister and I were having this conversation with each other. We were like, there's literally something in the air, literally, that's causing people to behave in, in these just absolutely insane ways. So anyway, we're praying for a spirit of joy, love, kindness, and peace over the atmosphere in our homes, everywhere we go, and all throughout the world. 
But anyway, that is all for this video. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one.